<laughs> I'm sorry. There's no calm. <laughs> Next day. In the days that follow, tension gripped the nation like never before. Yeah, I'm so gripped by tension with... Whoa. Dude, it's like a clean cut. Look at that. It's like it's someone weird. just like opened up like a crazy energy and just... Pff, out. Where's the pirate? <laughs> a photo of the <clears throat> grasping chasm left where a guerrilla fortress once stood made the Imperial Chronicles front page. And the sight of the aftermath was enough to fill the citizens with a sense of inescapable dread. All the while, unconfirmed reports that several armor divisions are on attempt to invade Crossbell has begun to spread. In every one of those reports, the message was the same. They have been repaired almost effortlessly. Effortlessly. Erebonia was starting to feel the effects of the IPC's asset freeze too, and things didn't look good for the economy. As things stood, it was only a matter of time before we faced a spike in corporate bankruptcies and record unemployment. What is this voice? <laughs> <laughs> the announcer voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Faced with the crisis, the Imperial government and the officials of Heimdalla began working to remedy the situation. Yeah, look at this shit. Rumors were also spreading that Erebonia's longtime enemy, the Calvert Republic, had thrown its weight behind Crossbill. And with the fortress that would serve to safeguard the Empire gone, many speculated that an invasion was only a matter of time. No, oh. things went really shitty all of a sudden. Yeah, who's got a racer gun? <laughs> I don't know. No, oh, Crow and what's her face aren't here. Milliam. Well, I guess Milliam had to go back with the. Uh... Yeah. Ah, uh, I can't take this anymore. Somebody Where kill that she? clock. <laughs> Homeland was supposed to start ages ago. Oh, he's mad. I'm not surprised she's late. The instructors are probably all busy trying to figure out what to do. That seems more than likely. This morning's meeting has already blown past its normal ending time. It's still hard for me to believe all of this is really happening. Having been there, the idea that Gorelia Fortress just vanished is difficult to comprehend. Not all of it, I heard. There are still some parts left and almost untouched. But Instructor Neidhart making it out of there alive was nothing short of a miracle, though. Those huge railway guns were part of the section that's gone, too. Oh. No retaliation. If I hadn't seen the pictures, it'd be kind of hard to believe. What kind of weapon is even capable of doing something like that? I find myself doubtful that any human could create something so powerful. We just don't know. All we do know is that it's impossible to make a weapon that powerful even with today's most advanced orbital technology. Some ancient shit. And mm -hmm. yet here we are, with just such a weapon in the hands of what's always been seen as a mere vassal state. The Imperial Army has their work cut out for them, I'll say that much. I'm worried about what's going on in the capital too. It sounds like there have been even more demonstrations going on there these past few days. Down with Crossbell, they say. Point our guns towards the east. No, people want to go bang bang shoot him up. Hmm. Is there even any truth to those rumors that Calvert's planning an invasion? I'm pretty sure it's all nonsense. Hmm. People are just losing their shit. But considering how there have been tensions between us and them for years, people are just more inclined to believe it. Rumors are just that. We need to be careful not to be misled by half truths and speculation. If possible, we should find out exactly what's happening for ourselves. Yeah. Over the year, we've seen how things are across the Empire with our own eyes. And now's as good a time as any to put that knowledge to use. <laughs> well said. We've had quite the education in getting to the truth behind all the headlines. That seems to have been a running theme of most of our field studies. Still, we seem to be missing two of our illustrious members. Yeah. Well, Crow did his class, so, you know... Well, there's nothing hmm. strange about Crow's habitual truancy. <laughs> <laughs> Called it. <laughs> or did he already transfer back to his original class? No. He said he was going to be with us through the end of the month. As for Million, though, I'm not sure. You don't think it's something to do with the Intelligence Division, do you? Well, she is an agent of theirs. It's kind of easy to forget that, given how she usually 
Besides, it does concern me that none of us have seen her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, you're back. Uh, violent diarrhea. <laughs> oh, instructor. Are we starting I was just homework? screaming at you. <laughs> Not today, I'm afraid. All classes have been canceled. Oh. You can either stay here in the building and study until school's out, or go back to the dorm. So Later. wait. Has something happened? Not yet, but it will. No. Chancellor Osborne's going to be addressing the nation from Dreykel's Plaza at noon. It's set to be broadcast across the entire empire. Okay. A national address? Sounds pretty serious. And given the timing, indeed, it's not hard to imagine what's on his agenda. Well, yeah, everything's gone to shit, so... Come on, guys. Straighten up. You're students of Thor's Military Academy, and that makes you all cadets. So you can be drafted at any moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever careers you choose, military or civilian, you need to know how to act decisively in an emergency. So right now, I don't want you to look away from what's happening in the world. I want you to face it straight. Will do. You're right. Now's not the time to lose heart. As for Osborne's speech, apparently we'll be setting up radios in each classroom so the students can listen to the national address. So if you want to follow along, be sure to be back here by noon. <sighs> Okay. I suppose I might as well listen to it here then. Same here. I don't even have a radio. I do. Yeah, yeah, I listen <laughs> I to it often. Something guy. like this, I'd <laughs> rather not listen to it alone. You scared? <laughs> well, then we can all share in the joy of hearing the melodious voice of our esteemed chancellor. Maybe I should haul in some beer and snacks. That's the only way I'll stay sane through the entire broadcast. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do, William? Though. None of us have seen either of them all day. Do you know where they are? Can't say I do. Crow's practically made a career out of playing hooky, but I did see Milliam earlier this morning. Oh, so she's still on campus? At least that means she wasn't called away by the intelligence division. Hmm. Mm. I've been thinking along those mm. lines, but when I asked her, she just shrugged and said, No news from the top! Oh, <laughs> just a little bracer to bracer information swapping. Uh... I doubt she wandered off too far. That was, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> yes, but lest you forget, she excels at giving us the runaround. Just like your dialogue. <laughs> at least it doesn't sound like she's in trouble. We're probably worried over nothing. We'll just have to tell them we're meeting here at noon if we run into them before then. Yeah, we will do. Meow. I guess everyone's going to check in with their clubs. Looks like I have some free time. Might as well see if I can track down Crow and Milliam. At least it sounds like Milliam is probably somewhere on campus. Flying around. Crow, though? He could be anywhere. Probably best to check with Toa and George first. Maybe they know something. Okie dokie. Okay, let's go. Okie dokie. Talk to M what's her face. Ow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm okay. Was that twins? <laughs> See what Alto is up to. Now you can talk to her. Yeah. Hey you. Ooh baby. Oh, Reen. <laughs> I figured I could find you here. Yep. Christ. Who? <laughs> so I'm trying to figure that out at the moment. Are you guys planning on listening to the Chancellor's statement too? Yeah. How could we not? He's supposed to be addressing the entire country, after all. Yeah. Whatever Christ, it's about, who's gonna die it's going first. to be something <laughs> Wait, oh. Is that really what it says? <laughs> no, I can't be. <laughs> well, I, looking at it, it kind of looks like that's what it says. <laughs> Actually, what the way? It's a lowercase d. Hang on, Toa, stop talking. I sure hope Damn it. Okay. <laughs> what with all of this political turmoil right now? Toa. Oh my gosh, it does say that. <laughs> Christ, who's gonna die first? They oh. know the gig is up. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We'll Someone... get back to the game. Sorry. <laughs> Just had to check that. Council president. I need to stay focused on what's going on right here, right now. <clears throat> Oh, somebody is gonna die, but who is it? Angie was 
would laugh at me if she could see me getting distracted over her anyway. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my god. That's right. You've got to focus on getting through this. <laughs> he literally does say that. Ugh. This game, Still, yeah. Still, don't try to take on more than you can handle. I'm not the only one ready to give you a hand if you need it. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, why were you looking for me in the first place? Aww. Right. I almost forgot. Do you have any idea where Crow might have gone? Crow? Hmm. Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, it's good I talked to you then. mentioned that he had to go anywhere when I talked to him yesterday, at least. Was yesterday the last time you saw him? Yeah, he was giving me back some of the stuff he borrowed from me since graduation's getting so close. That was nice of him, but then he gave me everything he borrowed from Angie, too. <laughs> He's just dumping crap on me. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> <sighs> it's only polite to give back the stuff you borrowed in person. Now it's more work for me. <laughs> or me. Well, that's a very crow thing to do. Well, I'll keep asking around and find out if anyone knows where he's gone. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, steal your robot. make sure you're back <laughs> in the classroom by noon, okay? No, yes. Of course. You think crow's gonna die? Because he's I doing all this. I guess what it's referring to. Because <laughs> he's giving back everything he owes everybody, and then he's gonna get shot. Or chopped, I don't know. I'm not sure with this game. <laughs> <laughs> we got both. I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> hey, you. Hi, you. I still can't believe there's a weapon out there powerful enough to level Gorelia Fortress like that. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, we call them A-bombs. You could get much more powerful than those railway guns. Yeah, having seen the railway guns in person, I can hardly believe it myself. Okay, for some reason, <laughs> I thought that was my computer, but that's actually outside. Yeah. That's, Somebody Some... was <laughs> somebody's trying out the motorcycle. <laughs> or a weed whacker, I don't know. <laughs> or a weed whacker. <laughs> there are rumors that whatever that weapon is, it's managed to fend off the armored division several times, too. That's nuts. Still, I can't help but wonder what the Chancellor's gonna say in his national address. <laughs> the Metal Gear. Oh. <laughs> Whatever it is, I have a feeling that it's going to shake up some things around here. This is a military academy, after all. We're going to have a big, a big old robot fight. Who knows? Mm -hmm. We might even see active duty. Even as an engineer, I doubt they'd make an exception for me. No, they put you with the rest of the engineers and you'd be making tanks. Could mm -hmm. be that my lazy days tinkering with horrible bikes are numbered. Oh, yeah, I see that, you're going to lose some weight, big boy. <laughs> Well, Sweat it out. No point in stressing out too much about the future till we're there. I didn't mean to be a downer about it. Go on and listen to the broadcast, but don't worry yourself too much. This country may go through a lot in the coming years, but ultimately, we have a say in our future. Two point. That's a good way to look at it. I don't want to look away from what's happening. We have to be aware of our present to take charge of our future. But if but you anyway, forget the past, they're you gonna wouldn't fuck happen you to know where Crow is, would you? <laughs> he hasn't shown up to class today. Crow? Uh, can't say that I do. He came by yesterday with a box of things he'd borrowed from me, but he never mentioned having any plans today. Dang. Anyway, I'll keep asking around to see if anyone else knows where he is. Well, knowing Crow, he's probably just wandering around somewhere. Just keep looking around and I'm sure you'll run into him. Mm. Will do. Hmm. Let me go check out my robot. Mm-hmm. I tell, I'm telling you, he's trying to steal your robot. He's not gonna steal my robot. Man, he ain't got the old white in things. the ordinary has <laughs> happened here in the old schoolhouse ever since that night. We kind of ended up pushing it to the back of our minds, what with the way things have been going in Crossbell. What? Huh? It's unlocked. I wonder if someone's already inside. George is in the engineering building uh. right now, so it can't be him. If any of the students just idly wandered in here, they'd be in real danger. I should probably yeah, take a look inside and just... <laughs> I checked around inside of the old schoolhouse, but there didn't seem to be anyone around. But all the same, I didn't want a chance leaving anyone down there. So I decided to check the seventh floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoop! Whoosh! Alright, robot. And, oh, hey, Milliam, what are you doing? Mammy says you guys are friends. <laughs> <clears throat> But more like distant Milium? cousins. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Reem! Come to take a sneak peek too? <sighs> Stop being innocent. Is I know what you're doing. You <laughs> do know we have class, right? Oh. Dang, I knew I 
was forgetting something. No, it was canceled. Nah, that's true. Honestly. Blew your own cover. Honestly. So, what's piqued your interest? It's Everything. <laughs> Giant Lammy. <laughs> Giant walking Lammy. It doesn't look like this thing has anything in common with Aragetlum. Hmm. I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that it might, at least a little. Not the same, but like they share some kind of underlying principle. Ha. Huh. Oh. I've got no idea what you're talking about. That's because you're stupid. I guess you wouldn't really understand without being connected. Say what? Oh, Lammy. And now it makes sense why Gramps asked me to keep an eye on this place, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Give me that sweet I intel. I had no idea there'd be something this cool down here. Wait a minute. Chancellor told you to spy on us. Are you talking about Chancellor Osborne? Did he know there was something like this here? I'm not really sure. He just asked me to keep an eye on the building itself and said to let him know if anything unusual happened. Oh, I haven't told him yet. <laughs> Whoopsie! That was supposed to be confidential. Son of a... <laughs> that fucking douche. Trying so, to steal my Chancellor robot. has an interest in our quaint old schoolhouse, does he? We did just find out that Captain Claire is a Thor's graduate, but... Hey, what you thinking about? Taking this robot so nobody else Say, does? Milliam. <laughs> Was investigating the old schoolhouse the reason you enrolled at the academy? Mm, well, sorta, but it was more of a side thing. There was a more important reason, but that kind of stopped being a concern. So I guess it's just this now. Something more important than this? Not sure what she's getting at. Doesn't sound like she's trying to hide something important from me, though. Oh, yeah! It's almost time for Graham's speech, isn't it? I guess I should head back and listen to him drone on. Oh, so you already knew about that. We were all planning to listen in the classroom. Sweet! I'll just listen with you guys then. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Where the fuck is Crow? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing keeps you down for long, does it? Oh, yeah. You haven't seen Crow around anywhere, have you? Huh? Nope. Is he cutting class too? Always. <laughs> well, he's probably just hiding out somewhere on campus. Using this time to sleep in or something. Well, he's showing signs of something else, but let's move on. <laughs> None of the others have seen him, though. I wonder if he went into town. Huh, maybe. Want to try looking around Trista? I'll come with you. Sounds like a good idea. If he's not on the school grounds, chances are he's somewhere in town. All right, let's Playing see if we can dice. find him. <laughs> or Blade. <laughs> Stealing people's money. Be back later, robot. Bleed. What? Oh. <laughs> Whoop, wham. Whoop. We're going. Gotta go into town. Give me that crow boy. Ew. I didn't Make mean it, it like... sound so bad. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Okay, so are we gonna track down Crow? Yes. Might as well. I guess we should start with the dorms first. Maybe Sharon knows where he's gone. Okie dokie. Damn it. No, oh, yeah. We Hurry it. up. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Keep your pants on. Walmart demands it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what do you mean a guy get them pants out? Of you back so early. Welcome home. And with pants. <laughs> Hello again, Sharon. We're back. <laughs> oh, it seems all of your classes have been canceled today. Shall we party? I thought said that you would be remaining on the campus, though. Well, that was the plan. Say, Crow hasn't been back here, has he? Master Crow. Well, actually, he just returned a short while ago. He's uh -oh. crying. Damn it, we missed him. Oh, he did? Indeed. However, I don't believe he stayed long. It seems he was here just long enough to go to his room, then he left again. Sounds like we just missed him. Maybe he forgot something here and came back to pick it up? Hmm, I don't know. Should we check his room just in case? He's not yeah, very... Might as well while we're here. Mm. <laughs> well, if you need anything, just let me know. Here's the room to his key. Thank you. Alright, what room Wait, is Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why does she have rooms? Keys? Because she's room? the maid. She cleans. Wow, this is pretty plain. Mm, looks like he did go out then. Still, don't you think his room's awfully... tidy? I mean, for Crow. You well, seen he was supposed to be moving out of here fairly soon. He must have been doing some cleaning. Anyway, it's almost noon. I guess we just have to head back to the classroom empty-handed for now. He still owes me five bucks. Yep. It's almost time for Gramps' speech. Still, I wonder where Crow went. Yeah, 
There's nowhere else around here I haven't checked, is there? Is there? Is there? Is there? My room. No. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna head on out. Oh, it's you. Oh, good, it's Patty Cakes. Patty Claps <laughs> is here. Patrick, what are you doing here? I thought you would have gone back home. Well, we don't have any classes today, so I was just resting in my room. Sure, I've been told to return home. Repeatedly at this point. But as a member of the four great houses, what dignity would I have were I to turn tail and run home at a time like this? Don't underestimate me, Schwarzer. Oh, wow. You're a douche. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Is Class 1 planning on listening to the National Address, too? We are. Personally, I can't stand the man, but we are in the middle of a national crisis. Those of us who elected to remain at the Academy are having a radio set up to hear the broadcast together. Ah, uh, right. You've got some strange classmates, though. Especially that second year. I know Heimdall's not all that far from Trista, but I'm not sure why he'd bother going to hear the speech in person. Hey, what? Shit. What are you talking about? That crow fellow. I met him outside the station this morning. Oh, really? Oh, he didn't tell you? When I inquired, he said he wanted to hear the Chancellor's speech in person. Huh. I wouldn't have expected him to suddenly take an interest in politics. Well, at least we know where he went now. Hmm. I haven't a clue what you're <laughs> It had no voice about. acting. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's almost noon now. Shouldn't you be running along? You'll miss the broadcast. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's get going, Milliam. Everyone else is waiting in the classroom. Okay. I bet he just made out that he's going to the Chancellor in person. He just wanted to ditch. Mm. Save it again, shall we? Tom! <laughs> what? Let's go! <laughs> Same day. 11.55. We're five minutes early. Hooray! Hey, Kitty's here. Meow. <laughs> the clock's about to strike noon in Heimdall with the Chancellor set to take the stage for his national address. Ooh. With the situation in Crossbell and the destruction of Gorelia Fortress still fresh in the national consciousness, the message he has today will undoubtedly shape the future of Erebonia and with it, our lives. Our reporter is joining us now live from Dreykel's Plaza. No pressure. Sounds like he's about to start. Whoa. <laughs> you okay there, Elliot? <laughs> Fine! <laughs> I hate this. I've got butterflies in my stomach. You shouldn't have eaten those butterflies. This is Misty, coming to you live from Heimdall. Hey, Misty, huh? Huh? Why is Misty... Oh, it's the host from Aventine. Aben... At Aben. least that's a reassuring voice to hear at a time like this. It's the actor. Oh, Emma. What's wrong? The, the woman talking on the radio, she's... You all know her? Who, Misty? Of course. She hosts the radio show Aubin Time every Sunday night at 9. She's my I've seen instructor. I've out and about in Trista, too. She always looks so fashionable. Though, considering Aubin Time is broadcast by Radio Trista, it makes sense that's where she'd be. Huh? Uh, you okay there, Emma? Do you know her or something? The Chancellor's standing at the no. podium, and it looks like he's about ready to begin. Let's hear what he has to say. What? Well, huh? Citizens of Heimdall. So. Fellow countrymen, <laughs> Erebonians far and wide, I thank you for your attention. I am Giliath Osborne, your chancellor and the acting representative of the imperial government. Okay. I'm giving a big old speech with tanks. <laughs> bam bam. <laughs> bam bam, suckers. Mmm, their clones are here. <laughs> well, those two grandmas right next to each other. <laughs> we stand today oh. in the face of an uncertain future. All of you, I'm sure, are aware of what has transpired in recent weeks. Crossbell, our erstwhile province, has defiantly declared its independence. Bunch of crazy suckers. And as its parting <laughs> shot, Frozen the assets entrusted to them by the hard-working men and women of Erebonia. He doesn't have a mustache. He has a good old beard. I wasn't talking about him. Oh, who has the mustache? Oh, damn, it's that guy over there. 
As we have moved to safeguard our national interests, armed conflicts have broken out on our borders. Our enemies point to this as an example of Erebonian aggression, but nothing could be further from the truth. We acted in accordance with our duties as a colonial power. All we have done, we have done as is our sovereign right. right. The hmm. Imperial hand may be firm, but it is fair. These traitors, however, have shown the world that they are neither. With an unknown weapon of mass destruction, they have annihilated Gorelia Fortress, the stronghold that has long protected the very gates of this country. I ask you, brothers and sisters of the Empire, do we allow such an odious act to go unpunished? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no. Do we sit <laughs> idle as the pride and dignity of our great nation is spat upon and trampled underfoot? We cannot. We must not. And we will not. With blood and with iron, we shall meet out justice. Oh, the people are into it. All right. Listen to him go. <laughs> oh, he's quite the orator, that's for sure. <laughs> well, he's certainly not out to upend my expectations. Milliam? What are you doing? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Talking on the phone. <laughs> I just... Why are you such a dumb dumb? <laughs> nope, can't get through. No surprise there, I guess. I want to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> what is all this about? What's a TV? <laughs> It's my mission. The most important part, actually. Did you screw it up? If only no. I caught on a little sooner. But considering he managed to outwit Claire, Lecter, and even Gramps, I suppose Crows earned this victory. Son of a bitch, he wins every bet. <laughs> what? What does Crow have to do with this? Oh. Uh. Oh. So that's your angle. You came because you had a potential lead on C, and you couldn't look into it from the outside. Is that it? Say what? what? Oh, don't tell me C is for Crow. <laughs> <laughs> that is the dumbest thing ever. What a cunt. <laughs> As in the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front? But he's dead, isn't he? The Intelligence Division looked at all of C's actions so far and drew up a list of potential suspects. And one possibility we couldn't dismiss was that he had ties to this academy somehow. But after C and his cronies got blown up aboard their airship in the mine, we thought it was a moot point. Looks like we spoke too soon, though. Oh, I can't believe how bad we screwed this up. Um... Are you seriously suggesting that it's Crow? That it's been him all along? He knows how to use guns and a sword? Damn. <laughs> Crow was with us in the mine right up until he went with the miners to escort them back to the surface, right? Yeah, and then his route back ended up blocked off by a cave-in, so he wasn't able to reach us until later. B but what if he actually used another route to get there ahead of us? Then fought us wearing that masked helmet and cape. Before making it look like he boarded the airship, then sneaking back around to join the others like nothing happened. Madness. No one would stake their entire plan on such a precarious stunt. Well, Crow's a gambling man, though. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we can read the evidence that way, but there are a few leaps in logic that bother me. Besides, remember when the terrorists escaped from Gorelia Fortress? We heard C talking to us, and not just then. He was addressing us just before the airship exploded in the mine, too. That's true, on both counts. And Crow was with us the whole time during everything that went down in Gorelia. He never left our sight. Right. No mistaking it. My name is C, leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, there's no way he could be... He could have recorded a message in advance and played it back. Oh. I didn't know they had that kind of software. I don't fucking know what they can do in this universe, <laughs> man. I forget they have phones oh. every time. <laughs> oh yeah, we have phones too. Don't look at me like that, Alyssa. And the airship that exploded? It could have been controlled remotely. I guess you could. Well, we had those, like, self-controlled tanks. 
Yeah, they were doing the remote tank stuff too. Yeah, his so ally gone. seems airtight, but once you account for things like that, it starts looking pretty questionable. Yep. But when you got a robot, that's when you thought it's time to shoot stuff. Yeah. And if C's still alive, that means the other ringleaders probably are too. Then right now, Crow is. Oh no. He said he was headed to Draco's Plaza, didn't he? If a skilled sniper has their eye on you, you let your guard down for even a second and bang, you're dead. If he's the one who shot down the airship in the mine, then it's checkmate for the Chancellor. Crow's already won. Okay. Bam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in such tumultuous times, we must set aside our differences. We must look past the ideologies that divide us. I will not deny the rift that has grown between the reformist and noble factions, especially in recent times. But how childish, how insignificant such squabbles seem when the enemy marshals its strength beyond our borders. I have met with His Majesty the Emperor and have secured permission to embark on the course we now must. Thus, in the name of the Emperor and as the representative of the Imperial Government, I hereby proclaim... Oh. Bullets. That's a nice looking 50 cal. It's a big one. It's a big one. And sun's to his back, too. That's a perfect alignment. This helmet's gotta make it shitty. Yeah, the helmet would be a problem. Go finish your speech in hell. And bullets oh, for me! Oh, damn. <laughs> oh! I've been shot. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, that's a death blow. Uh, well played, Armbrust. <laughs> he even knows. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! The Chancellor! <laughs> what a chance is this? <laughs> well, that's well, uh, no that bueno. That was anticlimactic. You shot somebody. <laughs> and there's our coup de gras. Now, just have to add the finishing touches. Hands in the air! Like you don't care. Mm, but I do. Ow! Oh. <laughs> just shot that thing right off his head. A shitty ass helmet. <laughs> I'm alone, don't worry. It really was you all along. To think all the time we spent searching for the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, and he was right under our noses. Crow Armbrust from the Jirai SEZ. Ooh. Or the Sneeze! And here I <laughs> thought I'd managed to cover my tracks like a real pro. So, who put all the pieces together? I bet it was Arundel, wasn't it? We just received confirmation a short while ago. If you hadn't been so difficult to pin down, we would have had this investigation finished up already. How could you? How could you? You know, this really brings back the memories. It's a lot like when Jirai was annexed by the Empire eight years ago. You let your guard down, you lose. That's how your boss's favorite little game works, isn't it? Well... He lost. And now he won't be playing any of his games again. Ever. Yeah, he shot him right through the heart. He's definitely dead. Super dead. You, you get on the ground. I don't know how you managed to plan all of this, but you'll tell us eventually. I'll see to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What? <gasps> oh, snap. What is it? I don't Ladies know. and gentlemen, we've just witnessed a shocking turn of events. Chancellor Osborne has been shot by an unknown assailant. He's currently being rushed into urgent care. We'll bring you more on the situation as it develops. I don't know. Quick, we need to put his heart back in. <laughs> <laughs> all the pieces are all over there, there. <laughs> Pick him up. <laughs> Jeez. What is that? It's coming closer. 
It looks so, like we may not be out of the woods yet, folks. A the giant dogs come out of the clouds. Large silver cloud. Oh my gosh, aliens! But hearing a radio broadcast just isn't the same as seeing it unfold yourselves, is it? Uh, what? So how about I give you Thor students a special treat? Just my way of saying thanks for the fun I had at the festival. Wait, man, you big titty with the eye patch. Was is she was now she speaking directly to us just now? Resound, resound, oh voice everlasting. She a witch. Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world. You'll break that shit. Okay, this is getting crazy. Whoa, we got video. <laughs> I told you she was a fucking witch. Isn't that the plaza in Heimdall? This is one of the Meow. Azure Abyss's incantations. Phantasmagoria! She is a witch. This is that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like a projector just right in here. <laughs> yeah. Let's speed this up a bit. <gasps> it's the bird! Squeak to squeak to squeak. I am the squeak bird, <laughs> and I make everybody fall asleep at Snowit's castle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! The I told you the giant dong out of the sky. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> The Avengers aircraft carrier. I don't know. There's doesn't have as many like uh. Doesn't air... have any planes. Yeah, it doesn't have any airfields. It has cannons on it though, so you know. Battleship stuff. Yeah, it's. That'd be a lot more difficult to keep stable in the air, even if you have four sides on each side of it. <laughs> four swords on each side of it. <laughs> Two fifty armored class of aerial booter ship. Yar. Noble Alliance Forces flagship. Pantaguru. I think I said that right. Definitely nailed it. Mm, no, don't get too close. <laughs> <laughs> what? They have max. They have a battalion of max, and we got one in the schoolhouse. Well, mine's a Gundam, so I can definitely take on a bunch of them. No, you motherfuckers are all Gundams. Whatever, I'm better than them. <laughs> They're mass produced. Mine's one of a kind. That guy has big mallets. Yeah, that's mass produced for sure. <laughs> Shut up. This will work eventually. Shit. Uh. What about my bang? Twice. Oh, jeez, went right through them. And they have wheels on the back, back of them too. Got Griffin Blaze. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we are hitting all the animes. No, there's a, there's a couple others that I think have done the foot wheels. Yeah, I think so. I know um, Front Mission yeah. Four does that. Yeah, I think that's how it was in that blue anime, the one with the giant bugs. Oh, Blue Gender. What is that yeah. Thing? I know, but it ain't one of ours. It's time to avenge His Excellency. Begin with the pew pews, big bang booms, big bang booms. <laughs> Uh, nice, sh dude. Gunner, lower it, lower it a little bit. Got lower. Fire. Now, oh. you missed. Uh, Is it an you? armored core? <laughs> <gasps> oh. Oof. It was only a little faster. Yeah. Oh, dodged it. This is like exactly like From Mission 4. I know, right? <laughs> it's a lot like it. They're the same size as those mechs, too. I know. Watch out for the Fonzas! <laughs> the Fonzas will get you. Although the pen the piercing weapon that the Wanzers used was more of like an arm blade kind of thing, mm -hmm. it like it was a pile driver. It would punch yeah, into just them. like an armored core, the same pile driver stuff. What, yeah. What are those things? Humanoid combat armors, courtesy of Reinford's Fifth Development Division, staunch supporters of the Noble Alliance. Knights for the modern age, modeled after a stunning historical example 
and made of hardened steel from toe to crown. We call them the Panzer Soldats. Oh, close to Wanzers. <laughs> it is a Wanzers. <laughs> but how did... Don't move! Sorry, I don't take orders from you. Zephyr should be able to secure Valflame Palace just fine on their own. But I've got my own score to settle. Zephyr? Didn't you shoot somebody already? Oh, you, oh you're gonna kill Rain. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> no! Whee! I jumped first. It makes it easier to what? shoot. <laughs> he has a mech? <laughs> Gundam. See, I see me. That's, that's very Gundam. Yeah. With the giant wing things. He's, he's got a Gundam wing right there. Son of a gun. They mass produce Vonzers and he gets a Gundam wing. Ain't that a bitch. That it is. But still, I mean, hey, who gets to be a Vonzer pilot, right? <laughs> Not everybody. That is That true. guy seems happy. Oh, it's those guys. Man, that was a bit of a letdown, huh? I don't remember him. He was, they were guarding the foppish guy. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere I go, bling bling. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I fop with the bling bling. I'll give them an A for effort. But we're talking about the Imperial capital here. Is that the best they could muster on their home turf? Well, you just did an ambush. The hard part's still ahead. Don't get cocky. It's about to get rocky. Most of the Imperial army's putting out fires across the country. But they'll be back crazy. soon enough now. And who knows? They might have some anti soldats countermeasures up their sleeves. He's probably from the Highlands, like Gias. Guys. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> hey, anything can happen. Guess right? the ones to watch out for are the 3rd, 4th, and 7th armored divisions, huh? Give me your fucking mechs, retards. <laughs> I wonder whose side our little princess will take. That's for Fee to decide. The boss will want that. You know Fee's gonna stab you in the butt. Not my butt. <laughs> I work real hard on this. La la la, I've gone sick. Oh, crazy. <laughs> no, she's just an evil witch that... Yeah, she's a witch. She's doing witch things. La la la, I'm a witch. <laughs> Squawk bee! <laughs> Come my little bird, wee! Splendidly done, Grianos. I Thank see you. you were able to share the sweetest notes of my aria with our little friends. <laughs> Why, hello, it's me. <laughs> I will steal your buddy. I find <laughs> reminded afresh of the brilliance with which you shine as the second anguish Lady he's a, he's a Vida Clotilde. Or is he just a thief? No, I think he's with them. Vast is the stage, <laughs> and beauty is the performance of the Azure Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the compliment, considering your standards on beauty. Still, what the fuck? Oh. first the bird, yeah. <laughs> then Crossbell, and now here in Erebonia. Don't you think you're getting a little too greedy for your own good? Oh, your chastisement cuts deep. <laughs> we'll be proceeding with the next step of the Phantasmal Blaze plan, I presume? Hmm. Yes, yes indeed. Name. <laughs> Indeed. The bells are tolling for Crossbell, and preparations here are complete. Still, even this grand an undertaking is but a jewel in a greater crown. The second stage of the Orpheus final plan. The symphony awaits us. Let the second movement commence. Are we the baddies? Uh, yeah, I think they are the bad guys. They just attacked the freaking capital. <laughs> no, I mean, like, we. <laughs> oh, like Thor's Miller Academy yeah. and stuff? No, we're not the bad guys. We're cool. Is this really happening? Are we fucked? It is. I'm certain of it. Phantasmagoria is an arcane art known to the Witch of the Abyss, capable of showing scenes and visions across great distances. The woman you know as Misty is something of a sister of mine. Oh, shit. Wait. No wonder why she got big honkers. <laughs> Not a big... Are you saying that's who Misty really is? I feel like any moment I'm going to wake up in my bed to find I just dreamt all this. If yeah, 2020 would be like that. We have no choice but to accept that it's real. Well, we'll have plenty of time to worry about that later. Right now, we've got two more pressing concerns. The Chancellor's Shots and been beers. shot, and Heimdall's been <laughs> occupied. Exactly. Oh no! Oh! I hope my father's all right. Damn! My cat didn't see this coming. Please, let's see. Destroyer, be safe. 
Oh, yeah, his sister's in the capital. Shit. <laughs> that gargantuan airship. Those Panzer soldats. I have no doubts that they were bankrolled and manufactured by the noble faction. I saw them there. My old family. All oh, yeah, time, those two I dudes. I what happened to them. And how there they are. Fee. So you know those men? I remember meeting them briefly in the Grand. They're former members of Zephyr. Used to be one of the continent's strongest Jaeger corps. It looks like the noble faction hired dirty work, just like the Imperial Liberation Front. On top of that... It looks like our guess about C's identity was right on the money, but I don't know what that cool blue thing was he flew off in. Crow, why did you do it? Hmm. On behalf of the Ooh. Student Council, I'd like to ask all of you to remain calm. You are now my prisoners. <laughs> I'm sure you all experienced that strange vision during the broadcast. And the principal has an announcement what? he'd like to make about it. Good afternoon, Magic everyone. Have everybody's this radio? is Principal Van Dyke speaking. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to say yeah. there's a strong right. likelihood that what you just saw is really happening in Heimdall. However, it's important to note that we don't yet have confirmation or any official word on the situation. I'm doing all I can to find out what's going on. But in the meantime, I ask for your patience and understanding. So while the other the class is like, oh, check this out. <laughs> How could she use a national radio broadcast to show something to just us and no one else? Is that even possible? For her, it's magic. it is. With little difficulty at that. Yo, Sarah here. Oh, Who's yeah. Nightheart? An emergency nice. meeting. Right away? What? Of course. I'll be right there. Yeah, understood. I'll meet you in front of the main gate. Uh, what's happening? All right, class. Yeah, we get bazookas. Step out for take care of some business. <laughs> but no matter what happens, you are not to leave this building. Is that clear? Bazooka business. You know we can't promise that. We have rat control time. <laughs> I could be on? in and out before you even know it. I don't know, but I gotta pee. It's almost been two hours. Damn it. We're almost done, too. Really? Kinda. We still have, like, a few more fights to get through, and then it's done. You can go ahead and go pee. We'll take a quick bathroom break. Time to go pee! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am ready. Oh, that was a good break. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Okay, we're back. It smells like you just had a hundred clams. <laughs> what is there smoke? <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's obvious something strange is happening. <laughs> yeah, all right. Can this day even get stranger than it already is? I don't know. Is this year ever run out of events? <laughs> what? Somebody broke wind. <laughs> Open the window. <laughs> Quick. What's wrong, guys? <coughs> We're dying. I hear something mm. to the west, and it's getting closer. Several mm. armored cars are approaching. Oh, damn. And it sounds like they have some of those armored suits with them. The kitty ears can You've hear them. you be kidding. First Heimdall, now Trista. Are they planning on taking over the academy? Oh, damn. Hmm. Sure looks that way. Notable members from both factions have kids enrolled here, and there are plenty of important people like the principal. So either they're looking to preemptively protect their own or take the others hostage. Could be either, even both. This is absurd. Oh, damn. Whatever I'm not getting kidnapped again. We can't <laughs> allow them to harm innocent people. Do you think that's where the instructors went? To try and fight them off? Those giant armors tore through the army's tanks like they were nothing more than toys. Our instructors are strong, but with what they're up against, I'm worried they might not be enough. I'm not sure how much help we'd be or if we'll even be able to put a dent in them. Well, let's go kick their butts anyways. Hmm. But right now, they need all the support they can get. They need class seven. To do seven things. I'm with you. <laughs> you have my sword. Damn right. I didn't really wake and up today thanks. planning to fight enemies <laughs> that can gut a tank. None of us did. But this battle came to us, so we'll draw the line here. I'll do everything I can to defend this school and its students. Duh. I take no issue with humbling those that befoul the spirit of true nobility. Guess I'll help too. 
<laughs> I wonder how Lamy will match up against those giants. She's got a spaceship. <laughs> uh -oh. We haven't got a lot of time, so let's move out. All right, let's do this. Like the wind. <laughs> oh, hey, Patty Cakes. Lisa, why are you all so flustered? <laughs> What's going on, Ferris? You're still here? What in Adios's name is going on here? I don't know, muchachos. I saw the instructors leaving the academy through the front gate. Oh, of all places. They already left? <laughs> Patrick, you have to stay here. You can't let them take over this building. Work with the other students as best you can. Schwarzer? Wh what are they? Schwarzers. Schwarzering. Yee! <laughs> what in Adios's name is going on? I, I heard a war started in Heimdall. Don't worry, everyone. You'll be safe here. Until the explosions start. Our wooden gates will stop them. <laughs> we'll show you to the auditorium. You can bunker down there. Toa, oh my gosh, they do have wooden... Uh, maybe they're steel. I don't know. They could be good. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Yeah, seriously. Reed, what are you doing here? Y you aren't... You're not planning on going to help the instructors, are you? Hell yeah, we're we're good. We can kick butt. No. That's exactly what we're planning. <laughs> Go get your robot, you fucking bitch. We don't even know how to work that good jigger. It's not uh, even... I'm gonna just chub you in it. Good luck. <laughs> I'd bring shame to the Arsade name if I were to willingly allow such insolence and dishonor to fester. We're not gonna push our luck, but we want to give them every little bit of support we can. Y you can't be serious. If that video's anything to go by, you'd be going up against some seriously dangerous weapons. The chances of you overcoming a force like that is... Are you really yeah. sure this is what nah. you want to do? We are. This academy has given us a lot. We've made friends here. Learn to better ourselves. Get cell phones. <laughs> we'll be damned if we're going to let them just take that away. Seriously. Not my cell phone ever. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Guys. <laughs> That's not what's important. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the instructors told me not to let you pass if you tried to come through here. But seeing that I'm uh, out of shape right. and can't fight. Student <laughs> Council President, I hereby grant you permission to head through. But if you die, don't it's forget, your fault. <laughs> you're still students. This may be a military academy, but that doesn't mean you're soldiers. If you ever feel like your lives are in danger, even a little bit, you get out of there. Okay. Tell Never. <laughs> Our lives have always been in danger. Have you seen the field studies we go on? <laughs> Day one. Four. Gone. <laughs> Run away. Surrender. I, I don't care what you do. Just please. Please don't die out there. Promise me. Of course. Nothing. We promise. <laughs> At least make sure you've got everything you need before you go then. I've got my tools on me, so if you guys need any last minute modifications to your Arcus units, I'll take care of it. Dude, you're gonna die. Yes, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Didn't want to say it. <laughs> I did my best to not say the words that bring doom. <laughs> Why you didn't bring Crow? Crow's not here. <laughs> what? Oh, damn it! <laughs> Let's just get my tactics set up. Oh wow! We kind of already had. Let me check my orbits. Yep, orbit's good. Neat. Alright. Open the gates. We head forth. <laughs> I believe it. I do I can't believe it. <laughs> Dee, I believe. <laughs> well he was one of the terrorists all this time. Now he's gonna shot we well, gonna shot the Chancellor. And on top of that he's launched an offensive against the Academy. What a dick. <laughs> I'm still coming to grips on it myself. Yeah that I uh, think back on it. He was always around whenever something major went down, wasn't he? Even as far back as the Summer Festival in Saint Dillard, he, he when that big terror attack happened, I thought something seemed fishy with all the stuff that happened in Rover. But I guess with the urgency of the situation, I didn't think of it too hard about at the time. Hmm. It still feels like it can't be real. Like this is some. Gross mistake. All grody and is sticky. Yee. I can <laughs> I can hardly believe Crow is one of, is one of them. I saw him confess it himself. The two of us first met in the field study last year. He was 
easy to get along with, but there was something about him that seemed a bit hollow somehow. It didn't take long before Angie just went up and said to his face, Yay! <laughs> they really didn't get along very well at first. Still, the more field studies they went on together, the closer they we all got. How did it come to this? Sure. Be that as it may, right now the enemy is at our gates. Hurry the fuck up and over <laughs> it. I don't intend to let them have their way. We're going to protect this academy no matter what it takes. When we find Crow, I want to hear it straight from him. And I want to know what he's trying to accomplish by doing all this. Okay. Do what you can. His Crow's friends and yours. We're behind you all the way. Thanks. We don't walk onto the battlefield to lose, but we're fighting robots and tanks and we're on foot. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 